Hello there, everybody. Hope y'all having a great day. Um, today I want to compare brush pens and especially the two Koretake brush pens I tried. I tried a bunch of other brush pens, Pentel, Copic, Micron, etc. And I came to the conclusion that these are just outstanding pens. Uh, the five dollar version, the Sumi number eight, and the I think thirty five dollar version. If you order it from Japan over Amazon, they are both great pens. The br uh, the ink is the same. It's not waterproof, but it's like you can color, you can use watercolors, you can erase if you have the right paper. Well, first of all. The ink literally works on every paper. If it's like soaking or like super blank, it doesn't really matter. Um, the ink has a very fine pigments. The flow is great. Even though, I have to tell you right away, uh, the flow of the expensive one is a lot better than of the cheap one. Basically, I think it's because of the saber hair, which has its benefits. Um, also, a little flaw might be that you have to be super careful with the pressure. Like, it's really hard to, to find the right um, pressure in drawing to do like very fine lines, to do very defined fine lines. Uh, you definitely have, have it easier with the Sumi number 8 with the um, artificial hairs or synthetic hairs than you will have it with the saber hair of the 50 million years pen. So, after all, I was thinking, um, for my personal use, it's gonna be the best and the easiest uh, to keep both pens and switch around, uh, depending on what I'm drawing. Like, if I want to cross hatch or work with very, very thin lines, I'm definitely gonna stick to the cheaper one, because it's easier to handle. It's uh, lighter overall, so you won't have to focus that much. You have to be very concentrated when you're working with the heavier um, 50 million years pen or brush or whatever you want to call it. <coughs> and it's a lot harder to do similar fine lines. But overall, I'm excited. I love both those pens uh, to death and I would never trade them for any other brush pen. I tried a lot. I don't like the ink. I don't like the structure. I don't like the way they are shaped or they react. Like, especially the pencil ones I tried are kind of horrible. Um, and all the rubber brush tips or sponge brush tips can go to hell anyways. Um, by the way, if you aren't yet, follow me on live.me, come to my lives, talk to me, visit me, hang out, ask me questions, I'm always there to help, always open. Um, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, everywhere, and give me suggestions in the comments for other videos I might do or the things you're curious about. I'm, I'm kind of lost, so give me comments, give me input, tell me what you like, tell me what you don't like, give me thumbs up, don't give me thumbs down, give me thumbs up, <laughs> no, I'm joking, um, well, anyways, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed my little review, even though it was kind of unprofessional, but buy both of them, you can't do nothing wrong, you can use the cartridges in both, buy cartridges, if you order from Japan, Buy a bunch of cartridges along, they're cheap and you're gonna need them anyways. And you don't wanna wait four months, uh, three weeks <laughs> for, for new ones if you order them when they're empty. So yeah, 
Buy the pants, buy the cartridges. You can't do nothing wrong. Bye-bye.